Welcome to the gym home edition. My name is Coach Hunter. This is Chad. For today's workout, we're gonna need two gallons of water, one chair, and one Chad. We're gonna be doing a full body workout. Let's get started. All right, so for our first workout, it's gonna be based around a squat. So I'm gonna instruct Chad how to do a proper squat. So what you can do is you're gonna have your feet hip width apart, toes pointed slightly out, and your knees are gonna follow your toes as you squat. Perfect. All right, so the two workouts we're gonna do is one is just a squat hold. So you hold the squat all the way down at least 90 degrees. And the second one's gonna be a broad jump. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna squat down, jump, and land back into a squat. Good. All right, go ahead and reset. All right, so we're gonna do three in a row. And at the end of it, we're gonna do a 15 second squat hold. So go ahead, do three in a row. One, two, three, go and turn around, hold the squat. Good, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, three broad jumps back. 1, 2, and 3. Go ahead and turn around. Hold that squat. Good, 15, 14, 13. Make sure you breathe. 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, three back. Good, one, two, three. Go and turn around, hold that squat. Breathe in three nose, out through your mouth. 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, go ahead and three broad jumps back. Good job, one, two, and three. Go ahead and turn around, hold that squat. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, next you guys are gonna do is take a break and you're gonna repeat that four times through. All right, for this next workout, you're gonna need one chair, one chad. We're gonna be doing pike push-ups and mountain climbers. So how to do a pike push-up is you're, first thing you're gonna do is you can put your feet on the chair and you put your head between your arms and it's just like a shoulder press. Go ahead and do one. And if this is too hard for you, you can put your feet on the ground and you can do the same position and same motion. You just have less range of motion on this one. And then the second workout is going to be mountain climbers. So what you can do is you can put your hands on the ground. You're going to start off with one foot forward. And all you can do is switch your feet. Switch back and forth. Just bounce on your feet. All right. Go ahead and stop. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with the pike push-ups. Go ahead and get ready. So you're going to do pike push-ups till failure. So as many as you can, whether it's two, whether it's ten. Good. Make sure you breathe. Good. Keep your elbows slightly out. Don't tuck your elbows too much. All right, that's perfect. All right, then you're going to mountain climbers. You're going to do it for 60 seconds. Watch your feet on the chair. Perfect. Go ahead and begin. All right, so you're going to do this for 60 seconds. Still failure on the pike push-ups and 60 seconds on the mountain climbers. You're going to repeat this four times through. All right, for the next workout, we're going to need two gallons of water, one chad. So we're going to do, we're going to start off, it's going to be an upright row. Keep your arms overhand. You're going to pull up and along your chest. You're going to flip your wrist, and you're going to press. Good. And you're going to do it next is going to be a rear delt fly. So you're going to bend over like you're doing an RDL. Keep your arms mostly straight. And then you're gonna do is you're gonna fly, squeeze your traps and your rear delt. All right, so the first one, we're gonna do 10 of the upright rows and the presses. Good, one, make sure you lock out all the way. Two, perfect. Good, and three. Make sure you're squeezing your traps on the way up. Good, four. Good, and five, five more. 
Good, four more. Make sure all the way along your chest. All right, three more. All right, last two. All right, one more. Straight up along your chest, good. All right, straight to rear delt flies. No break in between. Good, one, two, squeeze your traps. You can even do a little pause at the top if you wanted to. Four, five, six, squeeze, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. And then you're gonna repeat this workout four times through, and then we're done. All right, for our last workout, we're gonna be doing jumping jack squats. So first you're gonna start off in a normal squat stance and you can go straight into a wider position. So just go wide and you're gonna squat all the way down and then you're gonna come back up and you go straight to a narrow squat. So what the wider squat does is it activates your glutes and your hamstrings and the closer stance is more for directly for your quads. And go ahead, you're gonna begin your set in three, two, one, and go. And you're gonna repeat this motion for 60 seconds and you're gonna do four rotations of that. Good. And done. Thank you for joining us at the Gym Home Edition. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at the Gym HD on Instagram. Lastly, you're gonna pick up your equipment. So you're gonna put away your chair, you're gonna put away your two gallons of water, and you're gonna put away your chad. Thank you for joining us at oh, <laughs> ready. Thank you for joining us at the gym. Wait, what did I say? Let's get started. All right, for this next workout, you're gonna need one chair, one chad. We're gonna be doing pike push-ups and. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, you're gonna clean up your equipment. So clean up your two gallons of water, your ch your chair, and make sure you. <laughs> I was thinking of chair and Chad. <laughs> Make sure to follow us on Instagram at the gym HD on Instagram. Have a good one. <laughs> that was almost done. I don't know why I thought I have a good one. Cut the part out. Thank you for joining us at the gym home edition. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at the gym HD. <laughs> Lastly, you're gonna pick up your equipment. So you're gonna put away your chair, you're gonna put away your two gallons of water, and you're gonna put away your chad.